Hey guys, how's it going? We're continuing to talk about VORs, and this one is how to determine your exact position using two VORs. In my last video, I talked about how to determine your relative position with one VOR. And so if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that because you're going to need to use those skills twice to determine and triangulate a position, an exact position in space if you're lost, for example, with two VORs. So let's get to the general uh, outline and then we'll do an example. So in order to determine your exact position using non-GPS instrumentation, you can use two VORs. So first, determine your relative position using one VOR with a from indication. So that means you're on the side of the radial for that VOR, as discussed in the other video. Again, if you haven't watched that, go check that out. Then obtain an additional VOR frequency to tune your second nav radio for use on your second VOR instrument. And again, check the Morse code to make sure it's working. Once you have that set up, you're going to use your second nav radio and your second VOR and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna center the needle on your second VOR with another from indication. This you'll place your aircraft in the green area for both VORs. Again, remember, we divided the sides of the VOR to the green side and the blue side. The green side was the from side, that's the side of your VOR radial, what you have dialed in. And then the blue side was the two indication, which is the side opposite the radial of what you have dialed in. Then on your chart, draw two lines. Draw one line outward from the radial of your that your first VOR is centered on. So the center of that VOR outwards on the radial all the way out. And then you're going to draw a line outward from the radial on your second VOR needle that your needle is centered on. So you'll draw these two lines out from your VORs and you'll draw them in pencil using your plotter on your, on your map. You'll draw these two lines out until they intersect. And your location is where these two lines intersect. So let's let's do an example. So our example is VOR1 centers on 270. So VOR1 is going to be this VOR right over here. And so we're going to turn our OBS until we get a from indication and, a, and the needle centered. And when we do that, so we're flying over here. Let's say we're lost and we're doing tight circles over here. And we're just, we got the aircraft trim so we can just circle easily and we're in a safe spot and then what we do is we go to VOR1 we turn the OBS until we get a from indication and the needle is centered and when we do that it's gonna it centers in this example at 270 so that means we're on the 270 radial on the from side that's this that's this green side here so we know again we're on the side of our radial on this side of the radial on the 270 then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this VOR, another VOR on nav radio two and VOR two. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to dial, we're gonna turn that OBS until we get the needle centered and a from indication. And what we'll find here is it's going to center with a from indication on 340 because that's where our aircraft is located. So that's the signal from the VOR that we're going to receive on the 340 radial and again we're on the from side so that's the green side here for that VOR now what we do is we simply draw the two lines which I already have drawn here but we draw outwards on 270 and then we draw outwards on 340 and then where this where these two lines cross that's where our aircraft is located so we won't know that we'll just be circling around and we'll be lost, let's say we lost our position, we don't know where we are on our map. So we're gonna circle around, we're gonna dial in this VOR until we have it centered with a from, then we're gonna dial in on VOR2, centered with a from, we're gonna draw lines out from where we centered with froms and where those lines intersected, that's where our aircraft is. Then what we can do is we can verify that by finding something close by on the map so for example it might be as we're circling around we might see this airport off to the distance and we might say okay that matches or maybe it's this airport or maybe it's maybe it's a mountain over here something some physical feature to verify that our vors that what the process what we've just done is correct